Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Pang. I'm the Group Chief Executive Officer of Singapore Post. COVID-19 has now been around for a year and a half. We all thought it might be over in six months when it started. It now seems like it is part of our lives. COVID, while disruptive, can be a great leveler. It can also reset things. Even as we grapple with the lifting of rules, embracing the new normal, it also presents a great opportunity for organizations like ours to review the things that we have been doing. I would like to share with everyone today on SingPost's history, what we're doing today and where we go from here. SingPost has a rich history of 163 years and is one of Singapore's oldest companies. We have existed even before Singapore is an independent state. Grown from being the country's postal service, to a global company with diverse capabilities. We have a network of 17 markets around the world, providing a wide range of capabilities from e-commerce to warehousing, logistics, freight, shipping, technology, and property. If you turn back the clock 10 to 15 years, Singpost was primarily a mail delivery company. We have built and optimized our operations to be extremely productive Singapore probably has the least number of postmen per capita population in the world. We have 1,200 postmen for a population size of just under 6 million. However, with the increased digitalization push in Singapore, that also means less reliance on letter mail deliveries. We have seen a steady decline in domestic letter mail volumes, with an accelerated drop in the last few years. Since 2019, we have embarked on an ambitious project that we call the Future of Post. We are designing a new generation postal system that incorporates smart stamps and trackability features along with a smart postal station that replaces the current letterbox infrastructure that is ubiquitous in Singapore's high-rise landscape. We envisage all deliveries in future can be tracked through our system, providing automated sorting of mail at each delivery point, catering to authenticated recipients, notifying people to receive their letters or packages, and addressing the volumetric issues by catering to the deliveries of letters, packets, as well as large parcels. To kick off the vision, we have designed and launched our first prototype of a smart letter box and began trials in four public housing blocks since December last year. The response to the trial has been very encouraging. We see this infrastructural revolution in Singapore's postal service a key point to boost significantly productivity, delivery effectiveness, customer convenience, and addressing costs per delivery. It will also change the nature of the delivery job as we transition from a traditional posty job to one that is more technical, managing the smart postal station. More importantly, it enables us to pivot to a world where e-commerce deliveries become dominant and letter mail becoming a rarity. Beyond designing the national postal system, our team has also continued to make significant improvements within the business. Across the group, we have improved customer experience and satisfaction, improved trackability and quality of our deliveries, enhanced our digital engagement, structured our processes to be more efficient and geared towards e-commerce deliveries. Through COVID, we improved on our on-time delivery rates to 99 plus percent as we realize how important postal services are to the community. Apart from serving our domestic market, Singpost is also fortunate to have a diversified group. Our international businesses have delivered strongly through the pandemic and continue to serve our international markets well, whether in Southeast Asia or in Australia. Diversification is critical, especially when the business environment is challenging. And we are happy that what we can offer as a group is scalable and transmittable to other parts of the world where we conduct business. COVID-19 has had a catalytic effect on postal as well as parcel volumes. During Singapore's circuit breaker period during the months of April to June 2020, where strict movement restrictions were implemented nationwide. 
we saw an unprecedented surge in e-commerce volumes of over 50% year-on-year, with the postal service responsible for delivering almost half of these volumes. E-commerce volumes have been on a steady uptrend over the past few years, but COVID-19 has greatly accelerated the growth. During the year-end peak season months of October and November last year, average total daily e-commerce volumes for Singapore's postal and courier businesses surged 30%. COVID-19 also saw us instilling new delivery capabilities. Through the pandemic, we have been called upon to deliver national supplies to everyone at home. Last year, we also started a medical delivery service in Singapore, including robust cold chain capabilities to service patients who might understandably be worried of visiting healthcare institutions due to the increasing incidences of COVID-19 then. We are also rapidly progressing with our electric fleet to enable greener deliveries and our target is to have our fleet completely electrified no later than 2026. The way I see it, COVID-19 has accelerated the inevitable changes that has faced the industry for a long time now. The decline in letter mail and competitive landscape in parcel deliveries. The key challenge is how to optimize the traditionally labor-intensive business to a model that still remains profitable for us through a delicate balance of technology and manpower. We are fortunate that we have been making these improvements and ready our network to take on more parcel volumes even through the toughest months amid the pandemic. Apart from focusing on operational efficiencies, we have also set our sights on customer experience, improving on areas such as customer communications and tracking capabilities to empower customers. At SingPost, we believe that every delivery counts and that people around the world count on us to make their lives better. As postal operators, we still have one of the most cost-efficient ways of deliveries due to the scale and the reach we possess. This we must capitalize on and optimize to remain relevant to the market. We will need to continue investing in infrastructure and data and be methodical in bringing value based on the network and connectivity we offer. In this way, we will continue our mission of connecting people, communities and commerce. Thank you.